Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Three spheres are tangent to a plane at the vertices of a triangle and are tangent to each other. Find the radii of the spheres if the sides of the triangle are 6, 8, and 10. I thank Castor for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. One of the challenging aspects of this question is to understand the geometry in three dimensions. Use of a computer model will help understand how the three spheres are tangent to the plane at the vertices of a triangle and are tangent to each other. In order to solve this problem, let's shift our perspective so the plane is flat and we're taking a side view of these two spheres. Construct a radius of the large sphere with its tangency point to the plane and the vertex of the triangle. Let the large sphere have a radius length equal to a. Do the same thing for the smaller sphere and call its radius length equal to b. Construct the following right triangle where the hypotenuse is the line segment between the centers of the two spheres. Because both spheres are tangent along the side of the triangle in the plane, and we know they're tangent along the hypotenuse of this 6, 8, 10 triangle, we know that this leg is equal to 10. The other leg is then equal to the difference of the radii lengths, so it's equal to a minus b. The hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the radii lengths, so this length is equal to a plus b. We thus have the equation 10 squared plus the quantity a minus b squared is equal to the quantity a plus b squared. We are going to perform a similar construction for all the other sides of the triangle in the plane. So let's shift our perspective between the following two spheres. We'll construct the following right triangle. The largest sphere has radius equal to a and the smaller sphere, let's call it C. So we have the legs of this triangle are A minus C, 8, because the triangle in the plane is 6, 8, 10, and the hypotenuse is the sum of the radii A plus C. We thus have the equation 8 squared plus the quantity A minus C squared is equal to the quantity A plus C squared. We finally make this construction one more time on these two spheres we'll end up with a similar equation for these radii lengths and the length six. So we have six squared plus the quantity b minus c squared is equal to the quantity b plus c squared. We now have three equations in three variables a, b, and c. So we can just focus on these three equations and focus on solving for a, b, and c. Let's work on the first equation. We'll expand each binomial. We can then cancel out a squared and b squared on both sides. We can then group the 2ab term on the right-hand side and the negative 2ab term on the left-hand side so that 4ab is equal to 100. This means ab is equal to 25. In this next equation, we'll expand the binomials cancel out the a squared and c squared terms, and then group the 2ac terms so we get 4ac is equal to 8 squared, which is equal to 64. This means ac is equal to 16. In the third equation, we do a similar calculation, so we get 4bc is equal to 6 squared, which equals 36. This means bc is equal to 9. Let's now focus on these three equations. AB is equal to 25, AC is equal to 16, and BC is equal to 9. From the first two equations, we multiply them together to get A squared BC is equal to 25 times 16, which is equal to 400. But from the third equation, we know BC is equal to 9. This means 9A squared is equal to 400, which means A is equal to 20 over 3. 
we want to take the positive root because we're dealing with the radius of a sphere. Now that we've solved for A, we can substitute in and we can solve for B and C. Substituting into the first equation gives 20 over 3 multiplied by B is equal to 25, which means B is equal to 15 over 4. Then substituting into the second equation gives 20 over 3 multiplied by C is equal to 16, which means C is equal to 12 over 5. Thus, the spheres have radii lengths of 20 over 3, 15 over 4, and 12 over 5. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.